Hello everyone, this is Ankush. Today we are going to discuss the uh, important topic in the daily DB life which we are using in terms of backup. So when we are talking about the backup, we have the physical backup and the logical backup. Physical backup we are taking with the help of the Arman utility. And when we are talking about the logical backup, we have the utility called data pump exp dp imp dp and the traditional one with what we are using is exp imp which is available in the 9i uh, in 10g 11g and 12c nowadays we are using the data pump utility which is the advance of the exp imp utility today we are going to discuss about this uh, data pump why we are using the data pump utility and uh, how to take the backup of the table again and how to import the backup of the table so these two important topics we are going to discuss today let me put on some highlight why we are using the data pump utility sometimes we are doing uh, any sort of dml operation on the table and let us assume that uh, if something went wrong while doing any sort of operation on the table in that case what we will do it's a trouble for us right so better to go into the table what we will do first of all we will take the backup of the table and then we will do whatever the operation we want to perform on the table in case if something went wrong we can restore the table by using that logical backup right so we have the data pump utility through which we can take the backup of the table table space and there are some other logical backup we can take with the help of data pump okay so let's start how to use the data pump utility when we are want when we want to talk about table backup okay so this is my terminal let's set the environment first okay yes mdb let me connect with the sql plus let me check the status of the database okay the name of the database is asmdb and the database is up and running fine now we will take the backup on one table let me connect with the one user connect u1 and the password itself u1 okay sorry i need to connect with the sql plus connect u1 okay let's check the user okay we have one table which i have already created over here for our demo purpose the name of the table is t1 let me check how many records are available into this table select count star from t1 okay so we have around we have six tables we have six record which are available into the table t1 and the current user is u1 so u1 is the owner of this table t1 and we have six record available here now what i will do first of all we will take the backup of this table t1 and the backup would be logical backup with the help of data pump utility okay exit c to take the backup we have exp dp utility we called it as export okay exp dp then we need to mention the directory name let me show you what are all the directory which are available here as of now and the syntax is selects star from db underscore data pump underscore directories so 
sorry. Detect trees. Okay. So select star from db underscore directories. Okay. Let me format it something good. Call owner for a one five. Call directory path for a sixty. Okay. Call directory name for a thirty. Let's check now. Set lines one two three four pages one two three. Okay, this is something good now. So as of now, we will use this data from DIR, which is pointing to this location. Okay. Basically, what is happening? Why we are using this directory? Whenever we are taking the backup of the logical table when we are taking out the backup of the table we need to provide the directory name it means to say whatever the dumps will be create it will create to this particular location okay let me tell you in a practical way expdp directory equals to data pump dir okay log file equals to exp dp table name is t1 and we will mention the data also 04 24 2017 dump file equals to exp okay then T1 we will mention the date 04 24 2017 dot DMP okay so we have directory here log file dump file anything I missed here let me check here so we have table okay one important thing now we need to take the backup of table so tables equals to we need to mention the schema name schema name is u1 and the table name is t1 okay okay something is issue with the syntax dumb file okay let me correct it okay dumb file equals to exp and the table to as sysdb okay before entering let me tell you what is exactly expdp is a utility which will take the backup of the logical table okay second thing is a directory it means to say data pump dir is a logical directory which is pointing to the physical location whenever i am taking the backup of the table the dump file will be stored to this location okay basically this data pump dir is pointing to one location let me show you here see here this data pump dir is is pointing to this location it means to say whatever the dumps which will be created after the export it will store here now we need the log file as well so i am i am mentioning the log file as this like this dump file this will be the name of the dump file after creating and the, this is the most important thing what we need to backup we need to backup one table which is available in u1 schema and the name of the table is t1 now whenever i am entering I'm getting the pop-up to mention as a mention as a username as of now I am doing this operation with the help of sysdba so I'm mentioning the sysdb here okay enter 
now the export of the table is going on let's see if we are getting any error or everything is looking fine hmm. okay the estimated block size is 64 kb so everything is looking fine till now see here in log file what you can see exported six row previously what we have observed there are there are six row which are available into the t1 table now they have exported six row with the help of exptp utility okay so here is the location of the dump file let's go there and check what exactly is there available ls lrt okay so this is the dump file and this is a log file if you check the date three, three let's compare with the see april 24 334 so this is the dump file which created after the export of the table now the situation is if something went wrong what i'm doing to insist or to simulate the issue i will delete this table and then we will import this table with the help of impdp utility sql plus as cstp drop table and the table name which is available in u1 dot t1 okay before that we will take the count as well select count star from u1 dot t1 so we have six row which are available in, into the t1 table now we will drop this table okay table is dropped let's check whether it is available see here we are getting the error as table of view does not exist because just now we have deleted the t1 table now what i will do i will import this table To import this table we have the utility imp dp directory equals to let's go and take the directory look directory details from there is data from dir okay then we will create the log file as well imp dp okay this is about the table t1 and the date is 04 24 2017 dot log okay what we are importing table equals to u1 dot t1 sorry no need to mention anything because as of now we are directly importing from the data form so we have the syntax impdp directory equals to data form direct dir log file equals to this one anything else let's go on the top okay i think looks fine and we need to mention the dump file to name of the dump okay enter now it is asking who will be the user which will take the import of this table I have mentioned as a sys as a sysdb now import is going on let's see whether it is importing the table okay see here you can see the log as a imported six row 
okay let me connect to the sql place and we'll check whether the table is available there or not select count star from username is u1 table name is t1 okay see here you can see the count is six it means to say table is available previously what we did we have dropped the table but now see here previously the table was available then we have taken the backup of the table this is a logical backup with the help of export expdp utility then we drop the table okay table is dropped here okay then we have imported the table with the help of impdp utility and here we can see the table is imported okay i guess you like this video i hope you guys understand what i want to share with you if you like this video please subscribe my channel and also like on the button thank you so much bye bye